so it's 7 19 and i finished my 30 minute workout but my ring isn't closed let's see how much farther oh, i, I just to hit 28 minutes so let's see what push i can do in two minutes i'm gonna turn on a bieber song because his music is good so it's 7 23 and i got my ring i am done for today Oh my gosh, so any of you ever have a time where like you need to make a phone call for something like medical related or like whatever, and they say, oh, call us at this number, and you do, and they don't answer, so you have to leave a message, and I'm just like, oh my god, like, <laughs> you're the one that told me to call you, I didn't ask to call you, Uh I hate, oh my god, I cannot talk on the phone, I get so like garbled, I'm like, can I just email you or something but not always the case but anyway it is 10 06 in the morning and um tried to make a phone call but the person wasn't there so we'll have to try again tomorrow because i'm only gonna i'm doing it like once per business day so we'll see and i'm playing with my fidget popper thing so it is 11.58 a.m. and I'm in the waiting room waiting to start my telehealth therapy appointment. I go to weekly sessions for mental health and um, this channel I try to normalize going to therapy because I think everyone should go to therapy. I love therapy even though it's really hard work. It's really really beneficial and I've seen a lot of benefits from it. Um, None that I'm going to talk about, of course, because I think therapy is a safe space, but um, I love therapy so much. It literally has changed my life for the better. And on Wednesdays, we go to therapy. So if you need uh, mental health treatment, especially with the pandemic, don't be afraid to reach out because a lot of them are offering telehealth and FaceTime sessions and phone calls and whatever to make your life easier. So... I'm gonna hop off this before she sees me vlogging. Hey guys, so it is 12.46 right now, and I just got done with therapy. Um, like I said earlier, it's really, really great. Um, I really enjoy it. <laughs> I mean, I don't like it all the time, but I like it a lot of the time, you know? Um, anyway, and my mom is coming back from running errands, because with telehealth it's sometimes hard to find privacy so my mom is wonderful and she gives me said privacy um so yeah and um so we're just uh chilling we're supposed to get some more rain this afternoon so i don't know what the day holds um like i said i had to make a phone call but they weren't there so we'll see what happens Maybe we can try after lunch because it's really making me nervous because like it's a deadline. Th it's not a deadline thing, but it's like a date sensitive thing. So we'll see. Hey guys, so it is 2.45 and I 
am gonna take a little bit of a nap, a little bit of a rest, um, because I'm not feeling so well. I'm feeling pretty anxious today, actually. Um, so a lot of the times, uh, people will tell you to sleep because that's like your body is like natural kind of reset thing. Um, so I'm hoping that helps. So yeah, I got Sully with me, and hope that he will be. Yeah, so. She knows. Oh, good. Alright, easy. Yeah, she knows I'm not feeling good, huh? You know. Good girl. Good girl. You're, you're covering up the camera there, though. Good girl, yes. Okay, we're gonna go. Hey friends, it's me and Maddie today. Oh, hi Maddie. I think we're gonna end the video here. Our dog's amazing. Even she knows when I don't feel good. Yeah, they're just, they have like six senses, it feels like. Um, but I did wake up and I did feel, I did wake up from my nap a little bit ago. And I do feel better, so that's my biggest tip to anyone with anxiety is if you can sleep or at least lay down and rest your body and not move, your body will, like, kind of reset itself. I'm not saying the anxiety will go away, because um, I'm killing for being that type of person that, like, oh, like, I'll go to bed feeling anxious about something, and oh, as soon as I open my eyes the next morning, oh, it's back. You know, like, that's always been me. Like, you can ask anyone. That's always me. Like, I always wake up with anxiety, it feels like. So, I'm not saying that it'll go away at all. Because it never does, usually for me. Um, I'm saying that it'll help. Like, and plus, you're when you're anxious and you're fighting against your own mind and you're dealing with anxieties and pain and, you know, physical stuff, you know, you need to rest and you need to let your body rest. So me and Miss Hopi are going to say peace out. Say peace out. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.